I just went for my first run I've had in a long time. So forgive me if I sound a little exhausted during this. But this is my first time doing something like this. Um, I'm doing it to, to sort of show review. Now normally I didn't want to do something like this, but I have to talk about this because it's been on my mind for like the past couple of days. And if I sound excited, and maybe I am a little bit, but this show is definitely worth it. Whew. Whew. Whoa. Man, I need to be doing that more daily. Whew. You know you're out of shape when one simple run leaves you out of breath this much. It's a problem. <laughs> All right, Devil May Cry Baby. What can I say about Devil May Cry Baby besides it is one of the only anime on Netflix that has got me feeling the way I feel right now. Probably one of the only shows on Netflix, and I've watched a lot of Netflix shows. Devil May Cry Baby is an anime adaptation of a manga made back in the day. And my god, it is one of the best animes I've ever seen, and I mean that wholeheartedly. I don't remember an anime doing this to me in a long time. It had me very emotional. It had me uh, very contemplate. It, 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 contem it had me contemplating so many things. I never had an anime that made me contemplate things so much that I actually ended up affected afterwards. I literally have nightmares after this. And I'm saying that in a good sense, only because, I mean, nightmares aren't really a good thing. Yeah, I think we all know that. No, nightmares aren't really a good thing. But <clears throat> it had me contemplating a lot of things that I hadn't thought about in a long time. And I just think it was a pleasant experience and overall. Um, I highly recommend Devil May Cry Baby. Uh, it's one of the series that inspired one of my favorite shows um, when I was growing up, like the original Berserk. It was overall a beautiful experience. The music was beautiful. The artwork's beautiful. There was the character development. I have a, a couple issues with some of the characters, but um, overall, the experience itself, uh, it drives home the point that it wants to drive home. Uh, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Shows like this get me excited about what uh, the future of anime because uh, there's, there's so many things as far as anime goes that is just so, you know, typical. And obviously some people, you know, want that kind of stuff and that's good for them. But for me personally, when I'm looking at anime, I want to see something a little bit different or something that at least catches my eye that I'm just like, okay, cool. I'll continue watching this. What this did was it caught me by the first frame. The artwork is so beautiful that it just encaptures you and it brings you into this world that you know you never knew you wanted to be a part of. It's really sad. It's a sad show, but it's beautiful at the same time. Um, there was a couple of scenes and moments in the show that I was just like, I don't know exactly why they need to be in there. Like there's a scene where, um, you know, I, you know, what? I'll, I'll leave the spoilers until later on. Uh, overall. Beautiful, beautiful show. I highly recommend it. If you're a big fan of anime, you're a big fan of um, gritty artwork, um, dark stories, Devil May Cry Baby is right up your alley. Um, also, if you do watch this, I do want to warn you, it is very dark and it takes risks that most animes wouldn't. And, you know, you're going to be seeing some crazy stuff. But um, if you're willing to look past that, and uh, look, forward, look forward to a beautiful experience. Now I'm gonna move on to my spoiler section. There's a couple of scenes in the anime where I was just like, I don't know if it should be there. Like the scene where um, Devil Man himself is uh, you know, trying to defend the other quote unquote Devil Man. Devil Man. Um, or not Devil Man, I don't know. They were most, I think they were humans for the most part. Uh, they thought they were devils or creatures. Um, they, they were started pelting rocks at Devil, at Devil Man, or just the, the humans in general that they thought were quote unquote devils. And he stood in front of them, and the symbolism, and you know, the symbolism I can get, but I don't know. It was a little, I don't know. I guess I found it a little cringy, a little bit. Um, just the, the little kids coming in and hugging him, and I don't know. I just felt more uncomfortable during that. Maybe other people thought it was a good scene. I mean, it was beautifully written. 
but you know he's crying and they're and they're crying with him. I think it's supposed to um, exemplify the sadness that's exuding through the air at that moment. But I don't know. I kind of found it hard to connect with personally. But other than the couple scenes that you know have that did kind of bother me just a little bit. I mean, I'm not. I'm saying that in a in a light aspect that is just like slightly bothering. I mean, the scene already took me to where it wanted me to take me. I just didn't feel what I probably should have felt there in that scene. But the beautiful, I mean, there's a whole bunch of beautiful sections. Um, I mean, the whole aspect between them running, I mean, it, it's actually inspired me to uh, run myself, even though you can see how well this is going. <laughs> I just want to thank, I don't know, I, I mean, Netflix. Uh, why? I can't believe I'm actually saying this because Netflix has had such a hard time with anime and um, I just think it, it, it's overall existence as far as anime on that platform is just really lackluster and poor. Uh, even some of the original anime, you know, it's just, it's just not that great. But this, 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 it, I don't know how they can come up with, how they can produce such really crap anime and then come with this like right on, right at the beginning of this year. And this is excellence. This isn't just like, okay, it's good. Yeah, it's great. This is excellence level of, I'll remember this. I'll remember this anime. I'm gonna recommend this anime to other people. I'm also going to make sure that um, <coughs> I don't forget it. Because some of these scenes and some of the moments and, and what the point that it's trying to drive home is just so beautiful um, that I can't, I can't, I can't help but, um, can't help but uh, leave myself thinking about my life and thinking about you know things around me and how they're not they're not guaranteed they aren't guaranteed I mean I'll say this much the ending I know a lot of people have been talking about the ending you know, and I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of indifferent when it comes to it because I think it still drove the point home that it wanted to drive home, but I, I don't know. The whole the whole idea that Ryu was the was the uh, devil was shocking to me at that point, but I don't know. I don't know if it was. I did feel myself wanting more at the end of it. I know people are going to give you different points on this. I mean, my point in general, it's kind of indifferent because. Uh, the ending didn't leave a stain, nor did, but it did leave me quenching more. So I can't really say either or on that end. All right. Well, before I ramp, ramble on way too much, uh, I just wanted to bring this out here. Watch this anime if you haven't watched it. Uh, this isn't an anime that is made for most anime fans or typical anime fans. You're just, you're not gonna walk into this um, thinking that the whole happy-go-lucky thing is is gonna is gonna fly like most animes do. This, this, isn't, this isn't a typical kind of anime. This is an anime that's going to get you thinking. This is, this is an anime that is going to bring a lot of sadness. Uh, there is no character which is safe. Um, it, it just brings home a point um, and gets you thinking more than, you know, you wanted to going in. I know I went in thinking one way and I went out thinking a completely different way. So overall, if you have Netflix, you have a Netflix account, or if your friend has a Netflix account and you want to borrow it for maybe a day or two, uh, binge watch it. It's super good. It's super worthwhile. The characters, uh, there's a couple characters here and there that I was like, mm, I'm not exactly sure about. The rapping though, the rapping part is such a beautiful add to it. The whole rapping aspect of this was so awesome and amazing. Um, the rapping had some symbolism to it. And um, it was just, I don't know, it just was done super well. So overall, I recommend it. Uh, it inspired me to do this video, and I'll probably do more uh, considering how well this video does. So if you like this, remember to let me know, because I'll make more. Peace off, guys, and I'll see you next time. What?